All right, howdy folks. Got another great question come in. This is Sean McGraw with American Veterinary and Heat. And the question is, uh, does my, my system is low on refrigerant. Does it really matter in the heating season? Um, well, if you have an AC system and a furnace, no, it doesn't matter. Your furnace is producing all your heat. If you have a heat pump, absolutely it matters. Uh, that refrigerant circuit is designed to operate with a specific amount of refrigerant in that system. That refrigerant is what is moving heat from one, one portion of the home to the other, whether it be from the indoor to the outdoor or the outdoor to the indoor. That refrigerant is that medium, that, that catalyst that's moving that heat for you. So if you're low in refrigerant, then yes, it's going to cause all types of problems. The problem is usually if you have a heat pump, you don't notice that you're low on refrigerant because you have auxiliary heat on the majority of any heat season or heat system out there that's got a heat pump hooked up to it. You have auxiliary heat strips, electric heat strips that run. So when you're going to notice it is when your power bill comes in. That's when you're going to notice it. And that's what we don't want. And we want to make sure that we're out there taking care of all the steps and, and all of this is maintenance items. We want to check everything all the time we're building out there. Because the cost of the maintenance, the cost of the repair, uh, man, if you're running electric heat straight and you think you're running mechanical heat or your heat pump to heat your home, you're going to find out real quick when you get that Duke Energy bill or wherever your power bill is coming from. Um, you, you could just about light a cigar on your meter outside as fast as it's turning when, when electric heat is the sole source of heat in your home. So, uh, yes, it matters. Yes, it needs to be taken care of. And if and the thing, the other thing to look at on there is refrigerant doesn't just get utilized and it's inside your system. It is a sealed system. So if it has, if it's low on refrigerant, it's because it went somewhere that you don't want it to go. It went outside of the refrigerant circuit, meaning that you have a leak somewhere. So we want to tackle not just the symptom of it. Hey, I'm low on refrigerant, but we want to tackle the whole problem. Where's the leak at? How can we seal it? What are we doing to take care of the whole problem? So when we put refrigerant back in the circuit, it stays where it's supposed to be.